Squaw Valley is looking for a new name. The popular ski resort will drop the word Squaw because it's considered derogatory and offensive to some. Paul Nelson has more on this decision. Squaw Valley has a long history, including hosting the 1960 Winter Olympics. But now the ski resort's name is about to become history. We're going to put a new name on it that uh, uh, isn't considered to be a slur by our neighbors. Cohen says the company made the decision after a lot of research and conversations with local tribes. I've heard a consistent message from them that they want to see Squaw place names changed. Many other places in North America with the word Squaw have already changed their names. They determined that the term is derogatory and offensive and should be replaced with something else. But perhaps none of these places are as well known as Squaw Valley. Of all the places that are named Squaw, uh, we're the most famous and uh, we're the most well known. We have a world reputation. Many people applaud the decision, but there's others who don't like the change. Cohen says over time, people will get used to the new name. He says Squaw Valley is much bigger than its name and that people have a connection to its skiing and terrain. I think as time goes on and it sets in, people will, uh, will more and more realize that, uh, that those emotions are really tied to the place and not the name. The word squaw has been used for this geographic area for more than a century, and it's been the ski resort's name since it opened 70 years ago. Now the focus changes to finding a new name that reflects the people who come here and ski culture. The task before us to find the right name that honors all of those people is a huge task. And so we're not going to take it lightly. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News.